Hello, and tonight, this is the third video, I'm going to be showing you how to compress video files using DVD, which is D-E-V-E-D-E, -E -E. it's a tool for Linux. It can be done in any distribution, I'm doing it in MIMP because I had this open from the last two videos that I made. So, first thing you're going to want to go and do is go into your terminal, type in sudo apt get install DVD. I might put this code in the description. I think it's yum install in Fedora and Red Hat. But, yeah, you know, install it however you do. You might install it, I don't know, using the package manager if you want to. I'm just going to do it via the terminal, just easier. Now, for me, it didn't come up because I think because I just removed it to show you how to install it. But um, if I just open up another terminal, it might say like this. Sorry for that clatter in my keyboard, it's not very good. Something like that. If it does, all you hit is yes, yes, or no, if you don't want it. Try and sort out that cable for the next video, but you know, for now it'll have to do. So once you've done that, open up DVD, however you do it, right, in here. I just type it in here, in the Linux Mint. Just wait for DVD to open. Now to compress the video file, we're going to want to go down to divx slash mpeg4. Creates files compliant with divx home players. Just wait for it to load. I'm going to want to go to add. I'm going to want to go, sorry, to file. And in this case, I'm going to be doing this video, but luckily I've just recorded this and I haven't yet compressed it, so I'm going to compress it now. Advanced options, I'd recommend 6000 video rate, especially if you're going to be editing it because it will go down every time you render it out. Scale picture, quality, use the dual pass encoding, better quality but much lower conversion, or turbo first pass depending on how good quality versus fast conversion you want. Deinterlacing, unless you've got an interlace recording, which you most probably will not, do not disinterlace, otherwise it will ruin your quality. So once you got that, you should say how much percent you'll use on a standard 4.7 gigabyte DVD. And then once you've done that, PAL or NTSC, doesn't really matter. YouTube supports both, if that's what you're going to be uploading it to. Most things support both, so yeah. We'll go forward, and so we'll just leave it in my home folder, and I'm going to call this Compiz Effects, and it'll put inside a little folder called Compiz Effects, and then the video will be inside that. You can rename it once you're done if you don't if you just want to get the name in quickly. So just leave this and it's gonna take quite a while so I'll come back to you when it's almost done. It's got two steps. It will go up quite slowly. Depends how big the file is a file like this it could take twenty minutes, twenty five minutes. Regular file should take about five to ten minutes. But some of the bigger files have had to take up to 25 to 50 minutes, anything from there. So I'll be back once it's done, or when it's nearly done. Hey, and here is the second part of the tutorial. It will come up, part one, which is encoding, and part two is scaling, converting, etc, etc. And then after it's done that, it'll come up, job done, see how long it took. I had to restart on a different video because my keyboard and mouse suddenly cut out for some reason and I just had to restart the system. But yeah, that's what it will look like. Come up saying how long it took, you press OK. Just to go for that really quickly again, you go forward, to call this test, OK. Already exists this time, I'll just press forward, do all of that. Bang, you're done. Just cancel the job. Could be temporary files at this then uh, the desired destination. Let's just ignore that. Well, thank you for watching, and that's it. The video is over. Goodbye.